Welcome back. From injectables to peels, arm lifts to tummy tucks, you can sculpt your body in just about any way these days. And recent advancements in cosmetic surgery have cut down on the time and the risk involved. Dr. Patrick S. Carney is a board-certified dermatologist and fellowship-trained cosmetic surgeon. And this morning, Dr. Carney is here to tell us about the treatments he offers and why it's so important to find a good doctor before getting the work done. Welcome back, Dr. Carney. Good morning, Corbin. Thank well, you. congratulations on 20 years uh, in your business. Uh, there's a lot that's going to be Thank going you. on. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But as I understand it, um, you sent out a questionnaire to your former patients, asked them about the whole process from beginning to end, going through, getting something tweaked, tucked, pulled, worked out, and what some of their responses were. And um, if you give me a second here, I'm going to go through some of these questions and answers because the first one said, why did you choose Dr. Kearney? And one person said, when I asked about the procedures that would make my meet my expectations, a wide variety of treatments were discussed and explained, I never felt pressured. Another patient answered, at the very first consultation, I could tell he was really listening to my concerns and never looked at me as another opportunity to make money. Another question was asked, how would you describe your results, which is key to women and men, anyone who's going in, phenomenal one patient wrote, and another one said, I look younger and don't feel the need to hide my neck anymore, something I think about all the time. Um, so there are lots of good responses that came out of that, and it really seems to me it lets you go full circle with these patients. Were you surprised by the reactions in the comments? I was very, very touched. I, you always hope that um, the image you have of yourself is, is how... Uh, your patient population uh, sees you, and I was uh, overwhelmed with some of those comments. Thank you. Yeah, how you're changing people's lives. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go through a few pictures quickly. Maybe you can just touch on each one of these. Tell us a little bit about what some of these uh, patients had done. Boy, that's remarkable change. Thank you. That patient had the upper eyelid uh, and lower eyelid blepharoplasty, or eye tuck, with the lower uh, eyelid bags, as well as a chemical peel. The entire procedure was done under local anesthesia. Which is very key. And as you go through this, if you just talk about the local anesthesia a little bit, because that's a very unique. Yes, Corbin, same with this uh, beautiful woman. Uh, I believe it was upper eyelids only. And the local anesthetic uh, is safe and effective, and it eliminates the uh, cost of a general anesthesia, as well as having this done in a surgery center or a hospital. So we can reduce the cost substantially. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, one of the comments here was, don't be frightened about being awake because your mm -hmm. patients are awake during these procedures. That's right. And there's some studies that have shown that physicians tend to do even a better job uh, if the patient's awake. And mm -hmm. I really would agree with that. Mm -hmm. This one is a, a woman who had a facelift, and it was done under local anesthesia as well. So some startling, uh, remarkable results. This is a very interesting uh, before and after of what looks like a facelift, but as you can see, uh, believe it or not, this woman had a deep chemical peel. Her skin is so glossy and Using pretty. phenol, so she chose not to have a facelift, but it looks as if she had one because That's the chemical thought. will tighten the skin and uh, as if she's had a facelift. This is liposuction. The woman had her upper and lower uh, abdomen done under local anesthesia. You can see a nice... Uh, a redefining of her. Uh, we all want that shape after tummy, contour. Dr. Carney. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's a good looking tummy. Um, Thank you. It's very important, as we said before, to find a great doctor. Talk about quickly what goes on in a consultation. What are people's biggest concerns? You know, I think one of the most important things is for the uh, evaluator, in this case myself, to really listen to what the patients are asking for and not really impose what I think maybe would be right for them, but to hear what what their needs are. Sometimes mm -hmm. you could look at someone and think, I'll bet you they're here to have their neck resuspended, but they're more concerned about just having a mole removed or maybe their lips enhanced. So Interesting. I think mm -hmm. you have to be really sensitive and listen to the patient and be, and be kind to them. Now we've got another quick series here, if we can just fly through these, of some other treatments you do that are the fillers and uh, mm -hmm. other things like that. This we did a, a kind of a total makeover on this uh, lovely young lady where she had uh, uh, a chemical peel and we put her on a good skin care program to uh, just give her skin some uh, uh, pizzazz. Here, here's a, uh, a before and after 
picture of a woman who had uh, permanent silicone injections into her lips. Silicone is a, a product that we will often transition a patient from who's been having hyaluronic acid or collagen mm -hmm, in their lips mm -hmm. and go on to something that's more permanent. Well, there are there's lots more information, uh, and you can get more information if you come to an upcoming event. I'm going to be hosting. I'm a little curious myself about all the great improvements Dr. Carney can make to your skin and to your appearance. And you're going to be there. You can meet Dr. Carney up close and personal. Uh, and it's going to be at the Weston Hotel. So I'm going to give you all those details. Pleasure to see you again. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Corbin, I have a quick gift. And oh. We'll talk about it later. Oh, good. A new uh, Go Green Organiceutical. Uh, Go Ravali Green skincare. Organic Suitical. Yes, it's a coffee berry extract. Okay. Great. I can't wait to try it. I love all this stuff. Skin Speak Spa MD is hosting their 20th anniversary carnival on Thursday, October the 23rd from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Weston Edina Galleria. Admission is free. For more information or to book an appointment, call 952-435-6565 or you can log on to skinspeaks.com. And we'd love to see you there. It's going to be fun. Good food, too, from McCormick and Schmicks.